Meanwhile, I think uh, we should pray as a people. You know, I think we should pray. We need to pray as a, even as an individual. You need to pray if you are listening to the sound of my voice right now. This, what happened on Sunday, calls for prayers. We must have moved on. A lot of people have forgotten even that this thing happened. You know, as a person, irrespective of your religion, you know, you do, you, you, we need to pray. If America could pray during 9-11, and I'm rather fat that I don't know of any dead person as a result of that event, but I do know of people who got hurt, who got burnt as a result, you know, that alone calls for great thanksgiving to the Almighty. It could have been worse looking at the fact that the location of the fire disaster is surrounded by filling stations and a gas station, a gas plant, you know. It could have been worse. Remember that you could reach me on 0063599866 or 0096661035 or 0094441035. It could have been worse, but Thank God for the firefighters in Anambra, you know, to develop what sometimes they go to like firefighters and I appreciate them for the sacrifice they make for the sake of everybody. The number that just came through, do call us back, please. Hello. 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 Uh, good evening. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, your name and your location, please. I can't call you on this Your. Oh, wow. Well. So as I was saying, um, if you are in Anambra State, on that day of the fire, or right now, you know, on that day of the fire disaster, you owe God a gift. That that gift must be shown in appreciating, in appreciating the fire service in Anambra State. They did a wonderful job. You can go to them and do something, you know, you need to make these people feel good about what they did that day, you know, uh -huh. they saved a lot of lives. At this point, I want to offer a song of praise to the Most High, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, the one that is washing over us and made sure that we never, uh, like, uh, like, we didn't get caught up with this fire, you know, and the one who secures our safety on a daily basis. Let's worship him with this one. Uh, and street report on Ebon at the 103.5 FM with I, Martin Ifanish, who Greg Gurez and number the first will be right back. Mm -hmm. 